Thank you. Um, no, I just want to thank everybody for coming out. It's a, a lot of speculation about me, you know, going to the NBA. And, you know, I just wanted to, to um, confirm you know, everything. And I'll be, you know, forget, giving up my senior season and, you know, going on to the NBA. Um, I just want to take this time to thank everybody, you know, thank you know, Coach Calhoun for, for turning me into a man uh, from day one. Most importantly, thank my parents for being you know, very supportive of you know, everything I did in life. And you know, my teammates, my, my brothers really, you know, I, I love those guys. And you know, I think I just think it's the right time for me, you know, to to go to the NBA. You know, I think it's I think I've you know, accomplished a lot in my college career and I think you know, coach did a great job at you know, preparing me to, to play on that level. So um, that's, that's it. Well, I told Kim uh, this morning that, that what I thought about the idea, and I've told him a few times, please don't have a scholarship for him. That's a big point. And, I, and so therefore, it's actually time for him to move on. But much like he'll do this summer, when he completes all his work, he'll graduate. And he's now graduating uh, basketball-wise, too. And it's an incredibly happy day for all of us and his family, his wonderful family, uh, and Kimba. Uh, but it's a very sad day for, for us to lose them, being first, your mom and dad, and uh, all of you, and, uh, and, and Kemba. But, you know, in life, uh, you got to keep going. And that's been my motto. And for Kemba, as I said, I can't really said that we wouldn't have a scholarship for him, although we'd probably find one if we needed to. Uh, but he, he, he's ready to move on. He's ready to move on as a man. He's ready to move on as a basketball player, both emotionally and physically. And he's just completed the finest basketball season in the history of this university, 111 years, I believe it is. And uh, has done everything really possible, in, in my opinion, that he could possibly do, including a national championship. And the greatest, someone asked me about all the various things that, that he received the Kuzi Award and other things, the uh, uh, Olsen Player of the Year Award, etc. And maybe some of the other things he didn't. Yeah, well, he got the most singing point trophy he can get, and that's a national championship, and that's what he's all about, and that's the kind of kid he is, and without man that he is, and, and without question. Uh, it's a, as I said, it's a very uh, dual-pronged day in many ways, in the sense that it's, it's, it's so happy for him, the fact that he's achievements and ready to go, and of course very sad that I won't have him come in my office every single day and, uh, next year, uh, which I'll miss greatly. I'm trying to teach Jeremy now that he's got to come in the office and sit there every day, uh, whether you like it or not. But uh, he's just as fine a kid as I've ever coached, and fine a person as I've ever coached, and been around. And a lot of our success this year certainly began with Kim and Kim will be the first to admit, and I would too, certainly, that he wasn't the only guy playing basketball, but he was a very special guy. And I feel very blessed uh, by the fact that I was able to coach him. Questions?